So in today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to create a table in Google Sheets. So we're going to start with from scratch, then we're going to show you how to create it from a template. And then if you have existing data. So let's just start from here. And there's a couple different ways we can open the table format. And so one is using the at symbol and scroll down and you'll see under components. Another option is insert and tables. Otherwise, often when you create a blank spreadsheet these days, it's showing up on the right hand side. So we can do a blank table here, for example, we can do some common ones up here. Otherwise, you can cycle down through the templates. We'll go through a little bit more of that here in a moment. We're going to start with a blank table here and we'll insert that. And then it gives us a quick walkthrough and tells you you can change column type. You can create custom views and you can personalize your table. And so we're going to quickly walk through a couple of those basic options and go from there. So you can set the column header name here. And so we can change this to name, for example, whatever this is going to be, product, etc. And we can set this to quantity. And then if you click on this drop down, you can edit the column type and so you go anything from number. And so this would be number, for example, this could be amount. And change this to a number and currency. And this is just showing if we go ahead and delete those out. It's putting some blank spaces in there, I believe. And so then we can just edit these down here. We could add another column that would be date, for example and change this to a date and you can do date, date time or time. And we'll go ahead and delete those entries as well. And then under product, maybe we want to change this to a drop down and we can call this product one, product two and product three. And you can do things as well. They now have these new multiple selections and you can also determine if you want chip or arrow or plain text. We'll just stick with chip for now. And then if we go here, let's just do product one. And then we can go ahead and just delete those entries there as well. And so here we could do Sam Smith, for example, product one, quantity one, $100. And then double click in here, pick a date. And then this could be notes, for example. And this one we could do column type as text. And we could set this one to text as well. And now you can see that it's taking shape. So we can also do things like change the name of the table here. So this could be, for example, orders. And then you can also customize the color of it as well. You can turn on or off alternating colors. You can set custom colors. You can adjust table range, rename it. And then over here, you can do some group by. So you could do group by product, for example, and all those. All right. And so finally, let's look at placeholders. And so under text ones, this isn't super relevant, but under some of these other ones, let's go ahead and go back to edit column type. And then here we can do show placeholders. And so let's just do that for a couple of these columns real quick here. And you can see that kind of gives you a quick idea, visual idea of what that's going to look like there in that place. And so another thing before we go to the next one is just the fact that you can remove extra columns like this. I'm just going to delete these until we get down to the end here. All right. And then you can insert a column like that. So if you want just this table to be the whole sheet, you can do it like that. And then down here at the bottom, you can see we can insert a row below and it automatically adds it to the table. All right, next, let's look at what it is like to create from a template. And so we'll just do insert and tables. And then over on the right hand side, we have some quick featured ones up top. And then under different categories, there is a variety of sample templates, everything from event planning, customer relations, project management, travel planner, product roadmap, inventory management, recruitment, team planning and marketing with all those different varieties. And so when you find the one you want, so for example, if you want to do project tasks, then you can click insert and then you can go ahead and close that out. And at this point, 
you can change, update any of these as you like. So you can delete a column here, or you can insert a new column if you want to add another one. And you can put whatever that one is, new column. And you can set the type just like we did before. And you have these different options here. So you can do people. So if there's two owners, for example, or file, or whatever it is, you can do checkbox, drop down, date, text, and numbers, as we saw before. And so that is a quick way to edit or change that. And so if you want to get rid of these milestones, for example, you can just delete that. Um, if you want to get rid of end date, and you can just adjust it just like that. And then finally, on existing data, we can select the data here. And then under format, we're going to do convert to table. And so at this point, it converts our existing data into a table and it tries to automatically read what's happening here. So sale date automatically converted to a date. And then it left these as unformatted. You could change them to text if you like or leave them as none. So that's really up to you. Change these into numbers. So you could change that to currency commission percentage we could change that to percent and the commission amount so you can kind of go through and update these as needed so this product type we could change this to a drop down and it automatically grabs that data just like that we could do the same thing for this lead source and this status and at that point, we have it pretty much set up and good to go. So at this point, now you can do stuff like your grouping and you group by lead source, for example. And now they're grouped by those lead sources. Obviously, there's quite a few under each one. So we could potentially change this to a different group by and do maybe status so we can see delivered here. And then down a little further. We can see blanks in transit and so forth. All right, and then we can exit out that view and save it or not. And then you can see those temporary groups and we can do filter views as well. All right, so that is it for today's video on creating tables in Google Sheets. You can check out some of my other videos on tables. I go through templates in a little more detail and go in a little more detail on how to use them and how to set them up. So make sure to check those out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.